Hey, aloha my internet family, how are you? Welcome back to the Practical Printing Channel. Tonight we're going to talk about a model that is really popular on Thingiverse right now and is a wonderful practical print. It is called, let me show you here. There we go. It's called Yet Another Machine Vice by the Goofy. Um, now this model has lots and lots of likes and downloads. Um, and it is very popular. The link will be down below in the comments. So if you guys want to try to print this out, you're welcome to. Um, it is a very intricate model and the gears, I'm trying to roll the cursor on it here. I don't know if you're seeing the mouse cursor or not, but the gears mechanism and the threads are very intricate. So what I did, um, although I'm printing this on Aussie, my heavily modified GMAX 1.0, um, it's got a really large bed and I could have printed this all in one big long print. In fact, I probably could have printed a few of these in one big very long print. Uh, instead I chose to break it up into sec separate six different prints, um, smaller bite sized chunks. That way if any of these parts such as the threads or the gears didn't come out very good, it'd be easy just to rerun that part and likewise if there was anything that failed mid print, I didn't interrupt a long, long print um, and waste the other parts of it because of materials falling into the failed items or from the failed items, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I will take you into the time lapses. I didn't save the slicings for this one. Uh, there are good tips on how best to slice it with the model over on Thingiverse. And uh, with that, we will take you over to the time lapse and we'll meet you back here to show you how this thing goes together. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, we have the part all assembled here. Now, I just wanted to point out a few things. Um, in the Thingiverse link, there is an assembly guide with a animated renderer uh, that shows you how to put it together, and their examples can show you much clearer and much better than I could actually show you. Um, I did want to point out a few tips, though. One of them is uh, you may want to lubricate the threads here not the gears, but the, the threads on the threaded rod um, that printed. And you may want to manually torque the, uh, the gears all the way on by hand a couple of times just to loosen those threads up. Uh, 3D printed threads are always a bit stiff. Um, I did use some PTFE lubricant, which is plastic safe, and uh, that seemed to smooth things up just a little bit. The other thing I wanted to point out is that it uses these pins um, and this is actually where I had a bit of a problem. It uses these pins that look like this, that go in through the holes on the side, and the little clip at the end of the pin uh, grabs a nub at the other side and holds it together. It is a wonderful concept, but I had problems getting those in. Now, I know other people have printed the model, had were able to slide those in with no problems. Um, I'm thinking it might be time to recalibrate the E-steps on my printer to make sure that I'm getting it dimensionally accurate. But in a pinch, I improvised with a couple of zip ties. I basically pulled it through, cinched the second zip tie up, and trimmed it off flush to hold it there. And it does turn through, and you can see it going up and down. Um, now, obviously, I wouldn't pop this onto my drill press and use it for anything heavy duty, but if you just need to hold a PC board to do some simple soldering or anything like that around the house, it is going to be a great tool for that. Um, so once again, this is a very practical model by the Goofy on Thingiverse, link below. So with that, 
said, I will leave you for the evening. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Practical Printing. If you liked it, please click on the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up down below. Maybe the other way around, uh, since I don't really have YouTube below me yet. Anyway, um, if you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you subscribe, you'll get notifications when new videos come online. And uh, if you have any comments or other content that you'd like to see, please leave them below as well. As always, have a great evening.